everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. We are looking today at Peace River. This is the new map from Camille Mapping, who you will know from County of Forty Mile if you've watched any of Kadirk Farms series. And this is his new map out of British Columbia in Canada, and it is massive. Now we know we like a big map here. We know we're like a four times map, and obviously Yukon River Valley at 16 times. This is bigger. This is a 25 times map, as far as I believe. So this is the farm you start on uh, when you spawn into the map. We've just loaded a map in, uh, just to have a quick look at it. And uh, as you can see, lovely big uh, sheds over there, and lots and lots of space. Now, if I jump into the PDA for a second, this place is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, there is the PDA. There are the fields. Beautiful square fields. Um, there's the river uh, that you can see running through there, the Peace River, which runs through Alberta and British Columbia. We're on the British Columbia side today. Um, but you can see um, some lovely shaped fields around the river. But then as you move further inland, lots of square shaped fields. And if we're talking size here, these are huge. So 61 there. 207 hectares which i do believe if i've converted it right is around about 511 acres huge huge fields so um for example the biggest field field 21 on flint hills is 300 acres so you're looking at you know a little under uh, double the size for that field and then you can see then just how big this map is because you know how big field 21 is on flint hills so you can see how much you've got available to you field seven here um, which is a nice one next to a farm we'll go and see in a little while is 127 hectares again multiply that by around 2.4 will give you the size in acreage but massive massive fields and massive massive prices as well 61 there five million dollars field seven there 2.7 million dollars and they go on there's very few fields uh, under under the million in the uh, in the square fields up at the top of the farm here so um, we're going to very quickly there's absolutely no point in me driving this map I'll just say that now um, the distances are huge this would take us hours to get around this so we're basically going to dot around each of the uh, points on the map starting in the top corner here we'll look at each individual farm uh, we'll look at some of the grain cell points we'll pop down here to the uh, town have a quick look at that as well um, and again there's a couple more farms here and we'll finish up on um, probably back to this farm here where we're going to start now so um, that is the farm where you start when you spawn in but obviously everything's available to you to put for you to purchase uh, if I click on this one actually you see there's a cluster of fields here this is not a bad starting farm if you wanted to start somewhere uh, but again at a six million dollar starting price tag you're going to have to work out how you're going to fund that it might be that you try this in uh, in new farmer mode and it'll set you up properly so let's jump up to um farm number one and we'll have a look around lovely house here you may recognize this from other maps uh, but lovely uh lovely big house to start you off and then you're into your farmyard here massive farmyard loads of space for as you can imagine the biggest machinery you can find now this farm is predominantly well i think it's completely arable so lots of grain bins uh, to store your crops because you're going to have a lot of them with the size of these fields some lovely big sheds here trailer park farm stuff in the nice red and white uh, look as well so we know and love these sheds very much um, we recognize these from flint hills and also uh, i've used these on some of my other maps so that is farm one very very nice farm i love the detailing of the uh, ground as well so we've just jumped in the sky a little bit here so I can give you a little bit of a look around the grain bins and the farm so you can see how it works. August sitting there ready to use as well. And um, yes, there you go. If you look over there, it starts to give you an idea for the size of some of these fields. I know some of you watch uh, Argsy's Western Australia series. I think this map's going to compete with it in terms of size. Uh, it's really exciting really exciting stuff so there's farm number one now while we're here i did say i was going to give you a little bit of a sample of how big some of these fields are so 61 is probably the biggest on the map here so we're just going to fly over to there uh, and we'll have a quick look and actually 15's not far off one of the smallest either so it'll give you an idea for the different sizes of the fields so let's just fly over here um, i'm going to put it on eight times just so we're flying now 
bear in mind um, how big this map is and bear in mind where this farm is. We are flying now and we're going about to fly over field 15 here. So um, lovely kind of wilderness areas as well with the grass and the trees here. Lots and lots of space as you would expect up here in British Columbia. So this is field 15. You know, on a normal map, that would be an absolutely colossal field. That's field 15, one of the smallest fields on the map. Now we're getting up to the corner here of field 61. So I'm going to stop here and uh, we're going to drop down a little bit. Now let me just jump to, back to the PDA. So we're starting in this corner of field 61. I'm going to head over to here. Um, and we're going to go. And we're going it eight times. So we're moving fast. Okay. And we're going to keep going. And we're going to keep going. And we're going to keep going a little bit more. And a little bit more. And let's, well, let's maybe stop about here, shall we? Shall we? Let's, okay, let's find the next clump of weeds. If there are any. Typically there aren't now. Okay, we'll stop about here because I'm just going to jump back to the PDA and I'll show you how far through this field that we've travelled. Barely halfway. And we were moving for a long time then. So that thing is going to be an absolute monster to harvest. I'm not sure who's up for that. This this actually really lends itself to being a brilliant, brilliant multiplayer map it's phenomenal i genuinely i'm already considering how i can set this up for the farm sim uh, guy community servers because i tell you what it's awesome and do you know what else i'm really impressed with frame rates now i'm sorry it's over my overlay there but you're looking at this now we're looking at 50 60 frames a second not bad and i've got my settings turned up pretty high here so actually this lends itself really nicely uh, to a multiplayer map, not too onerous uh, to play on at all, which is fantastic. Uh, I did some tests. I was running six combines in field seven there before. Barely a jotter, uh, barely a, a pause. Um, so, from a from a computer intensiveness perspective, for such a big map, it is running really well. There we go. Drop down to around about thirty seven, thirty eight frames, but it's pretty good even through all these trees. Okay, now we'll just jump over to farm number two here, and you can have a look at this. This is basically um, a pig farm. So there's your house, and around here, um, British Columbia flag there, more trailer park farms, sheds, uh, and there's your pig pens. So you can purchase your pigs here, slurry point there, again, more bins, so you can do a mixture of animals and uh, arable work here. Um, more sheds again, big, expansive, open uh, yards, as you would expect to see in this area of Canada. Uh, another pig pen over there, solar powers uh, panels over there as well. And uh, storage for fertilizer, seed, and so on. There, in fact, there's your lime one, that one. Again, we've just popped up into the sky here, so you can see an aerial view of it. Um, very nice little farm, that. But again, if I just pan up here, you can see the river there. There is the Peace River. And again, a lovely shape field. I really like that, the shape of the fields around the river, actually. Uh, cutting in and out of the land in a natural way compared to the, the uh, you know, the well-cut-in um, fields and established fields further into the map. So, uh, yes, around this area, I think, is really, really nice. Uh, lovely bit. Now, down here, we have, all on its own, way off in the distance, a nice little grain cell point. So there it is. Um, you can utilize that as you wish. Pool Peace River. Very nice. Okay, we'll keep uh, trekking around the map. Now, this farm here is one of the farms, I believe this is the farm you maybe spawn on when you start a new game. Again, nice, uh, nice farmhouse. I'm not going to show you all the rooms in here. I'm going to let you explore this. That's part of the deal with my uh, my map tours is I don't show you everything because uh, there'll be nothing left to uh, to enjoy when you arrive. So this is where we uh, started the vid. Again, another big farm here. Um, a little bit greener, a little bit lusher here next to the river again. 
So I'll pop up here. You can see the river over there. So you've got some nice shaped field just around this side. And if we pan around here now, we'll just have a look at the farmyard. Again, predominantly um, arable here. No animal sheds at this one, but lots of bins and lots of sheds. Uh, and anhydrous there as well. So this map is anhydrous ready as well, which is nice. Okay, um, and again, uh, just an idea for the fields behind you as well. Just massive. They are massive. I tell you what, if you like big machinery, this is going to blow you away. You are going to be uh, having fun for days on this. And I'm talking multiple sets of machinery as well. I'm talking six combines. I'm talking four planters. I'm talking the works. It is going to take you a long time to get through this stuff. Like I said, single player, I think this is almost too much. You're going to need to do this as a multiplayer map. No question. Although, I know some of you uh, guys out there, you'll just throw yourselves into this on a single player with no issues. Okay, back to the PDA here. We're going to look at this cluster of things in the bottom corner. First and foremost, we'll just jump to here. Now, this is interesting. The BC Ranch. Um, when I first had a look at this, I was, I was slightly confused as to what it was. So you've got tractors lying about everywhere, even though I'm on uh, start from scratch mode here, just to show you everything. There's tractors around here, and there is some static cows in the field, which I thought was interesting. Um, so look, static cows in the field there. Lots of bales over here as well. And then lots more vehicles over there. And it's almost a bit of a diorama, this. This is just... Um, it's almost a farm that you can't use. Well, it is a farm that you can't use. None of the doors open on the sheds. It feels like it's almost like this is your neighbour. And um, deal with it, because he's here, and he's doing his thing. Um, a little bit of construction going on on the roads there, which is a nice touch. Again, all just placed down here. They're building a new road there, which looks nice. Um, so just a little bit of detail on the map, which I, I really quite liked. thought it was great. So um, there you go. Okay, now we're going to drop down here and we're going to visit the Canuck silo. Um, this is starting to look like much bigger silos. Uh, much bigger places to store your grain and sell your grain. As you can see, you see the piles here sitting here. The Weybridge, uh, another pile over there, nice placeable trucks. So it feels kind of um, worked on and used, which is great. Uh, the grain dry there as well. Um, and if we go over here, you can see some of the farms in the background. But we have right next to us an even bigger grain silo. So let's jump over there and have a look at that. So here you go, the main grain cell point on the map, uh, the Pioneer cell point. We've got a train running through here, again a placeable, it doesn't work. Uh, but very, very big, very big uh, storage space. And again, if you look over to the left now as I pan around, tons and tons and tons of grain bins. You know, this is this is farming at its biggest and best, no question at all. So a lovely, lovely little uh, setup here. and. Uh, Lots of character around this. It feels feels great. Now I don't know if this is based on a real um, real life or there's a bit of a creative license from Camille for this. Um, so if any of you know otherwise, I'd be much appreciate finding out because it really is nice. Um, and there you go, another another grain dryer and uh, more bins over there. Okay, we're arriving in the town now, and the first thing you hit as you arrive in town is a very large John Deere dealership right on the edge of town which is a uh, rather nice but then if i pan around here you can see all the stuff that's going on in the background just over there to the left as well that is your root vegetable uh cell point and again there is another anhydrous collection point there as well um there's a main road that runs down here and straight ahead of you there is uh, your animal dealership, so you can collect your animals from there and cart them back to your farms if you don't want to buy them directly at your farm. So as we fly over here, we've got some um, factories and uh, some purchase points. There's a there's a Lakeshore shopping centre there, um, but again, here is your uh, purchase point for your seeds um, and your fertiliser, and again, there's another anhydrous point for you as well. Uh, and over here, more fertilizer and seed selling points. And tucked away in the corner here is your BGA as well, right down in the corner of the map, which is currently flashing because it's got high demand. And over here, a Tim Hortons, if you're thirsty, tucked in the corner. Again, just another placeable. Uh, you've got your fuel station here, 
so you can head down here if you need fuel if you don't have anything on your farm and Applebee's there if you're peckish and you want a snack and a few more buildings built in behind there but a lovely little town actually nice nicely set up okay back to the PDA yet again and we're gonna drop into this farm here between 37 and 57 because this is your main cow farm it's your main farm on the map if you want to be looking after animals obviously the pig farm in the first farm we looked at but uh, this is a lovely cow farm house up on the hill away from the farm a little bit and you've got grain bins again obviously because you're expected to uh, collect crops for your animals and then you've got some big silos here i guess for making silage and storing silage uh, again more trailer park farm sheds looking good there and more storage over there um, but here you've got your silage clamps you've got your seed fertilizer and lime points over there the meridian bins but then here you have all of these cow pens now these pens all hold 50 cows each um, so that's 800 cows you can hold on this farm which is quite a lot so there you go another nice farm especially if you want to do animals this is probably one of the farms you want to be looking at uh, then we'll move up to this farm here 70 between 71 and 67 let's just jump into the farmhouse here again all the farmhouses are lovely on this map actually um, really nicely done um, but we'll head out here this again is another animal farm and well kind of mixed i suppose because there's your uh, your grain bins and your dryer but over here a big cattle pasture um, and milking parlor so again another predominantly cow farm here but again with the space you've got here if you wanted to add some more animal pens for different animals in it wouldn't be the end of the world but again a lovely big farmyard lots and lots of sheds and storage here you aren't going to be short on places to store your machinery uh, and then the Cargill uh, tanks there for your milk which is nice to see as well so um, there you go farm number five another cattle pasture and love that big cattle pasture as well really nice to see big open spaces to put your cattle in great stuff and we're back on the farm that we started on now like i said this was never going to be a uh, super long map tour the reason being there's nothing here except fields these brilliant farms brilliant locations but then from here there is nothing but fields as far as the eye can see so from that perspective it's 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 just fields which is so canadian you know it's so massive when you think about farms like mike mitchell's youtube channel i mean he's he's farming what fifty thousand acres or something ridiculous like that this feels like those those vids those you know vast open spaces huge fields it's uh it's fantastic this map is gonna be huge i can tell you that now I bet you there are so many multiplayers going with this map in a very short amount of time because it's brilliant. It lends itself to lots of people working together in fields, the massive fields, big machinery. And let's be honest, we all love big machinery. It's fantastic. Camille, you've done it again, man. County by 40 miles was a brilliant map. You've done it again. This is phenomenal. Um, so where can you get it from? You need to head over to Camille's uh, private members uh, Facebook group. Uh, so you can apply and get membership there and you can get the download from in there um, Congratulations, man. This is amazing and you're gonna have a lot of success with this one uh, Everybody go check this out and I tell you I'd be surprised if you don't love it So from me for now the farm sim guy I hope you enjoyed that very quick map tour, but I, I wanted you to see it because it's so good and uh, Go go have fun playing it. So from me for now take care and I'll speak to you all very soon Bye for now